Welcome to Sri Solar Life. I hope you have seen uh, all our videos related to solar panels design as well as other technologies as well. Uh, I hope you have got uh, already a lot of information about how to size the panels. Uh, we want you to be clear before proceeding these panels. Uh, uh, you, you need to be ensure uh, the panel uh, has to be sized uh, based upon your power calculations. Uh, uh, today we are going to talk about the solar panel selection for the particular locations. Again, uh, we are telling you that uh, the sizing, what we are telling, that's for the particular locations. Uh, and again, it's not for the entire state or district. Even if you keep this panel moving to somewhere else, uh, uh, you'll be uh, losing the readings. Uh, so today we are going to see that our location will be in uh, Bhuneshwar. Uh, it's the uh, capital city of the Odisha, the Odisha state of India. And here the exact locations will be the Reliance Small, Reliance so, so Digital, something like that. And uh, the exact locations, so that's the latitude and longitude would be 20.26 and uh, 85.84. Uh, here we have considered for the panel for these locations. Uh, I hope I have seen uh, a lot of videos uh, about the how to size this panel. So we, ha we have considered uh, uh, in these calculations, we have taken all the design criteria into the account. I mean, uh, and we have considered polycrystalline panel for the system. If you are planning for the you know, mono panel, still you can go ahead with that. You don't have any issue with that uh, if you are spending uh, money from that. Uh, probably more, moreover, in India, I think many people prefer to go with the polycrystalline because of the cost cutting. So, uh, so here we have uh, taken. I think if you have the, any of the facility near to these locations. Um, so this is the exact leading so uh, we, are, we are sharing these all readings based upon our experience uh, even we have uh, uh, exit a lot of global projects and we are also guiding to many people so many companies as well uh, here uh, the readings is purely based upon the panels as well as beyond the panels you have to, you have to see about a lot of parameters uh, uh, due to the weather and the orientations and the angles as much directions everything you have to see that uh, we have taken all the historic data based on the weather conditions and we have uh, we are giving these uh, 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 units for the entire year we are not giving for the day or two or a week or we are calculating day week month and year so for the entire year we will be uh, considering uh, uh, we have calculated law uh, basics details uh, like uh, uh, we consider the power calculations based on the calculations so early uh, this many units is going to be generated so your panel has to be sized based upon the unit consumption so, so that's what we are trying to explain here and uh, now uh, we'll see that what really uh, what uh, kind of loads we have considered here uh, we have considered 25 watts load four numbers eight hours running per day 10 watts load 12 numbers six hours running per day 100 watts load four numbers 12 hours running per day 100 watts load one number 12 hours running per day 50 watts load one number eight hours running per day so all the all the loads are running for uh, 100% of duty cycles. Uh, again, I am telling you, uh, we have not considered any kind of a geyser or any kind of uh, a motor, or air conditioner, or any other higher loads uh, which you are normally using for the residential applications. Uh, if you have any concerns about the commercial and industrial stuff, uh, probably you can uh, put a mail to streetsolarlife at gmail.com. We can help you on these systems. Uh, as well as uh, many people have already installed the systems are, but you are not sure how many readings you are getting and for the entire year uh, so in this case also you can contact us uh, and uh, many people have already installed and planning for installation or maybe in the, the projects for the solar related stuff uh, uh, but still if you want to clarify certain things uh, probably you can approach us uh, by putting the mails with uh, to streetsolarlife at gmail.com so according to these calculations uh, we have uh, taken all the panel design criteria so, uh, so what we do is we, we took the weather conditions including the cloudy uh, uh, cloudy and then rainy so summer etc so we have taken all the data as well as uh, we'll be see, looking into the specification of the panels so <coughs> how it's been designed uh, so according to the specification and comparing to this weathers we'll be calculating so all the sizing so even we have considered the panel loss and aging factors too and uh, even the dust factor also we have considered here it means uh, you don't have to clean the panel every day or week uh, uh, it, it's better to go ahead with that uh, once uh, you can do it for once in a three or six months uh, that will be more than sufficient uh, so according to these calculations uh, um, for the entire uh, 
load if you're running for the year uh, the unit consumptions will be 2886 units for uh, entire year it means monthly approximately 2000 or 2000 uh, sorry 200 220 something it will come so probably you can calculate so to generate uh, this kind of unit from the solar panels uh, uh, so we advise to go with the 3100 watts panels polycrystalline panels you can go ahead with that to achieve these uh, kind of units uh, again we are telling you this is for the exact locations uh, if you are keep moving the panels to somewhere else or within the district or so far from these locations uh, there will be a lot of changes on the reading and uh, before uh, installing the panels you have to see the shared temperature as well so here we have considered the clear sky and with the perfect degree of the angles of where you are going to mount it okay uh, so uh, to store these energies as well uh, you generate the power you sometimes you want to show the energy uh, you have to see that autonomy whether it could be a one day or two day autonomy in the meanings in the sense uh, that's the storage energy to something else storing the energies to the batteries basically in India we, uh, many people have uh, using uh, lead acids uh, tall tubular uh, it's a type of battery will be the solar so if you are uh, putting the battery to energy uh, store these uh, this many energies uh, per day uh, so you can go ahead with the total number of batteries if you are increasing the autonomy probably you can put a multiple batteries uh, based on the how many days you would like to go for you can put a series and parallel battery to watching this autonomy as well i hope we have covered all the points here again i am telling you we have considered a polycrystalline panel if you are changing any of the system or if you are changing any of the calculations there will be impact on the uh, panel sizing uh, uh, as well as uh, uh, when you see the batteries you have to see the battery specification and temperature and aging factors a lot of things you have to see that you have to see the battery characteristics as well as well uh, you may have to see the uh, dod's and then you have to see the cutoff level of the battery uh, if you are charging a lot of energy storing to the batteries but uh, your discharge rate is more with uh, generating is very less it means uh, the battery will be keep uh, uh, charging and discharging frequently in this case the battery life also will be decreased uh, to achieve uh, to increase the batteries probably you can select this right battery so that uh, your battery if designed for five years can be it can give you a lot of uh, uh, efficiencies uh, so it means uh, it will uh, have a lot of years uh, instead of five it can go with up to eight years too uh, when you talk about the cabling also you have to be very uh, you have to take an into the accounts you have to you have to see the losses of the cable as well as and the, uh, and if you're converting the uh, DC circuits or DC uh, which is generating the PV and then if you are storing to this inverter uh, to the battery through the inverters uh, and the through the controllers as well so all the electronics uh, you have to take it into the account uh, uh, when you talk about the design system so you have to be very careful to the protection systems too uh, and, and hope uh, I think I, I have covered uh, all the points here of course just me, let me check here yes calculations completed so the panel is completed the inverters batteries of course cablings that's fine so here we have given the sizing for this particular locations and if you're changing the locations uh, there will be changes in the reading as well um, thank you for watching this video. Please share to your friend circle. Thank you. Bye.